Hello everyone. The streets of America have been filled with protests for the past 10 days, and I thought it was really important for me to come here and tell you how I feel about that. And then I saw Kedron Bryant. I'm a young black man Doing all that I can To stand Oh, but when I look around And I see what's being done to my kind Every day I'm being hunted as prey My people don't want no trouble We've had enough strong goals I just want to live, God protect me, I just want to live, I just want to live. That video, man, that really gets to the core of it, and you'll hear more from Kedron later in this video. But I realized that it doesn't matter how I feel about it, this is not a time for me to talk. It's a time for me to listen. It's a time for all of us to listen. So rather than make my own video this week and present it, I am giving this channel over to Black Lives Matter. Now, I have scoured social media and I have found some truly inspiring creative black artists who are speaking to the moment. And I want their voices to be heard on my platform. All of the revenue generated by this video will go directly to the charities listed in the description, so please, watch the entire video. Turn off your ad block and watch it again. Simply by watching these inspiring artists, you can help raise money for this very important movement. Thanks, enjoy. Black lives matter, there is no debate. It is escalated to the people versus the state. You better relate to it because you might be next. Color doesn't matter to the one who signs the checks. It's all about the money, it's all about the power. Watching dirty politics, I'm gonna need a shower. Try not to devour the rhetoric that they're feeding you. They're treating you unequal, the people will start to see it too. We're not confused, they're sleeping on our intellect. Thinking we don't understand the level of their disrespect. That's why I'm hoping you're keeping your eyes woke. Praying on my knees or my downy cause I'm being Choked. Tamir Rice, Sean Bella, Mike Brown, Amadou Diallo, were all shot down. Freddie Gray, Walter Scott, and John Crawford, even Sandra Bland has died unlawful. Rakia Boyd, Eric Garner, and Trayvon. Young Mr. Martin was a victim. How are they wrong? Ayanna Jones, John Farrell, and Akai Gurley. I see my family. I wonder what the world sees. I'm not alone. I'm not the only one who's angry. I want to see some justice. The system wants to hang me. Because I'm a young black threat in America. Land of the liberty, home of the debt. I just want a chance. I just want to see my 30s. I don't want to take another plea from an attorney. I just want my people to be free for the first time in this hemisphere since 1493. I keep it 100. The rat Wolf Chamberlain. Never gonna lose. I got a vision and I came to win. Play this tape again and you'll get everything I'm mentioning. My melanin is not a sin. Nope. So you better tell a friend. Say it loud. I'm black and proud. A million people marching. I was there to lead the crowd. Justice or else is it just us and nobody else who can help us get out out of this hell i don't want to sell and i don't want to be sold i don't want to see a selling so i'm gonna be bold you cannot control me i might be loud but i'm free to have my voice so i'm gonna move the crowd my sound won't be drowned by no gun pal hands up don't shoot arms like a touchdown i touch ground international worldwide black people everywhere open up your eyes and i surmise the minds i impact are for the better so don't say that i don't give back i'm running laps around your concept of rap and how many different cultures identify as black identify as black black lives matter say it again 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 black lives matter my life matters your life matters our life matters Lives matter, my life matters, your life matters, our life matters, black lives matter, my life matters, your life matters, our life matters, black lives matter, my life matters, your life matters, 
our life matters. Black lives matter. My life matters. Your life matters. Our life matters. Black lives matter. My life matters. Your life matters. Our life matters. Black lives matter. My life matters. Your life matters. Our life matters. Black lives matter. My life matters. Your life matters. Our life matters. Black lives matter. My life matters. Your life matters. Our life matters. Our life matters. I'm Michael Jackson Jr., a dancer with Alvin Ailey American Dance Theater. And I'm Amadi Price. I'm an editorial and portrait photographer. We are black artists living in New York City during this time of extreme injustice. We want to use our art form and our platform to show what's happening in our city, in our world, to our people. I'm almost like honored to be an artist during times like this. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like I have a responsibility now. I feel yeah. like I have a purpose, something to say no and a shit. purpose. All throughout times of like change in history, I feel artists have had a great job in providing a little bit of relief, a little bit of beauty, a little bit of happiness, a little bit of the harsh, raw truth to you. Mm -hmm, How could we mm -hmm. um, express this notion of I can't breathe? How would you um, choose to represent that? Now, something is really happening mm -hmm. in the world. Mm -hmm. And as artists, it's our duty to reflect, reflect the world, the world. The, what we see. Yeah. And yeah. what's even more beautiful about artists is that we turn pain and show people the beauty, beauty. in it. Yes, you yes. Know, that's yes. our job. Yes, you know? we take the pain to internalize it and therefore present it to you it's, as beauty. Mm -hmm. As a dancer mm -hmm. in one of the most famous black dance companies. I've danced about this already. I have danced about the struggle. I have danced about our fight, mm -hmm. the things we've overcome. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But for some reason now, it feels like I should be speaking my personal truth. Yes. Like, we need to actually have conversations about this to bring about radical change. Like, yeah. at this point, we're not waiting for a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit here, a little bit there. Like, we're yeah. tired of living in fear in a country that's supposed to be free. Yeah, that's amazing. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Don't intro me, give me the, the mic. mic. Just let me speak for me and my people and my experience. Thank you, Jordan. Thank you. Thank you. Black Thank Lives you. Matter. Yes, Black Lives Matter. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Anthony Ramos. I am a musician, uh, singer, entertainer, artist, actor. Um, and today, I get the privilege to speak with Kedron Bryant um, on Jordan Matters YouTube channels and all social media channels. And uh, I'm just so grateful to be here with you, Kedron. Um, thank thank you. you for joining us. Thank you for coming on. And we are so excited to um, to learn more about you and to get to know you a little more. So thank you for spending this time with us. Thank you. Your video uh, hit me hard, man. As I know it hit so many people um, hard in their hearts. And um, and I just wanted to say thank you. And, and I know your mother, uh, Janetta, wrote it, wrote the song. Yes, sir. Which is also, uh, which is also special. And, um, and I just wanted to say thank you to her for writing it. Is there anything that you uh, maybe want to say to other kids around the world um, or anybody who may be watching this, right? I don't want you to go out and let your anger gain control of your actions because it could lead to very, really, like very bad stuff. And um, to always keep your head up and to never be afraid to go out and enjoy life and because you belong here too um and that in that sentence was uh, speaking to my young black um kids out there and um so yes you could go out and enjoy life um just like everybody else can so um just keep your head up always trust in god man i appreciate that man for real
I understand that you're both, are you both your parents ministers? Yes, sir. And you are, uh, you are a, 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 a gospel singer, up and coming gospel star artist? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, and uh, I just want to know, like, how does uh, spirituality and um, your relationship with God um, uh, help you right in this, in this walk of life, and especially in these moments right now? Well, I was raised in the church, and um, past all those years, um, now, since we're quarantined, um, I have a schedule, and we and I do devotion. Me, and my sister, and my mom, dad, we always do devotion, and we just um, excuse me, but we sit at our tables and we meditate on God and we focus on Him and we thank God for everything. And that's how I get all my my faith and I get confidence that um, I know that God will be with me, so I won't have to worry about going out and oh oh my gosh I'm scared. So I take that time, um, I take 30 minutes to just uh, spend time with God and get in his word and study him. And that's how I get my faith. Um, so, yeah. Yo, you are so inspiring, man. Thank you. I heard your mother say a lot in some other interviews that she prays for you and she thinks about you all the time. And thank God for praying mothers. Um, yes. Thank God for mothers who keep us in their prayer. I know I have a praying mom and I don't know what I'd be able to do without her. Um, and uh, it's such a blessing to uh, it's such a blessing to speak to you and spend this time with you. So, Kedrian, I want to thank you again um, for hanging out with us and, and sharing your story. It's so inspiring. And please keep singing. Um, yes. if, if there's any time you want to collab, holla at your boy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, I'd be honored. I'll, I'll sing back of vocal, whatever you need, bro. Um, please send my love to your parents. And uh, it was great talking to you. Kedron Bryan, everybody. Thank you. Mad love, Thank bro. You. Thank you. This is my fifth day in a row at the protest. And every day has been a different experience. So let's see what happens today. I'm born and raised in the Bronx. Um, my friends have been victims of police brutality. Uh, my, I, I lived in a very, I still live in a very rough neighborhood. Today is more of a like, like Latin, Afro-Latino group. Um, that organized this today, and it's it's amazing to see how many different countries are in solidarity as well. The protests are, although mostly mostly peaceful, there still have been looting. There still has been police brutality that I've witnessed myself. Of other photographers, other people, innocent people that don't need to be brutalized like that. You know, I definitely want to change the narrative of everything has been, you know that the media is portraying it to be negative. And the, these protests, they have been such a positive experience for so many. What do we want? Justice! When do we want it? Now! What do we want? Justice! When do we want it? Now! Woo! Yeah! A lot of people are learning things that have not been spoken about. And we actually have a voice now. We have a voice now, and they're listening to us. We're undoing so many years of trauma, of generational trauma, and people are starting to understand that we need to come together for that one purpose, which is justice and just equality. This is such a life-changing experience. Like, I never thought in my life that I would be in such a revolution, because this is a revolution. This is not... This is not, oh, we're just protesting and things aren't gonna change. Things are going to change because the whole world is paying attention now. I'm a very realistic person and I know it's gonna probably take a while, you know, but I feel it in my heart that things are gonna change for the better. And the main thing that I want to change is just, we need to stop police brutality. That's it. Most importantly, we gotta vote. We gotta vote. If we wanna change things, we gotta vote. Hey, yeah you, do you know who I am? Because I know you. I was taught as a young one that you would keep me safe. I was taught as a young one that you were very brave. My mother always told me if I ever had a problem and harm was in my way, I called you to solve it. But as I got older, 
that statement has changed and now you're the harm that I fear every day. Why is it that I see all these lives being taken, even the innocent ones, they're being portrayed in, fighting for their life, screaming, please, I can't breathe, in their last moments because of your needs? Does it not come off sick to you because it comes off sick to me? I'm tired of all these tears coming down my cheeks. I'm tired of these moms and dads losing their peace because their son got taken away from the police. Why does the color of their skin depict the treatment they're given? Why can't all the stereotypes simply be forgotten? Can you answer that for me because I truly am confused? I don't want you to fear me and I don't want to fear you. I, in my lifetime, do not remember a period of my life where racism was not a part of it. And I'm sure many other African Americans can relate to that sentiment. But I can tell you this, never in my lifetime have I seen so many of my non-African American brothers and sisters stand up and speak out for what is right and stand up against what is wrong. That's the opportunity. The, 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 the beauty of organized peaceful protests and, and taking the anger that can be contagious, but they're turning it into positive anger, constructive anger. I believe we have an opportunity here to do something incredibly powerful for the betterment of our human race. Peace and love, everyone. This is Elect. Make sure you're registered to vote and you actively participate in your community, state, and national elections. For more information on how to register to vote and other social justice related content, follow Hip Hop is Voting. Stay hopeful, Black Lives Matter.